Goosebumps is rated Y7 because it may be too spooky for kids. Hello, Goosebumps fans. As you would figure, I would be like, finally, the prodigal son returned. And it's like, no, they decided to come back on April Fool's to do a freaking thing again. <laughs> I mean, can we really actually be very mad at them? A little bit. A little bit. I mean, look what freaking, look what Pop Arena is doing. Everyone else has did the finish line. But toe to toe, Pop Arena is most likely the one that did it exactly kind of at the same time. Or at least he didn't actually get to it. And he was like, oh, eventually I'll get into it once a year. 62 years later, I did it. <laughs> yeah, but then all of a sudden, thanks to Patreon, he went for it. And well, look at him now. He's actually close to two more books, two more books, and he's done. Somehow he finished before you. And I know, don't even talk about Squid Jim, no, no, no. But it's like, no, they, they kind of, I was going to drop it until they just dropped this freaking thing. And I guess it would be even worse where it's like, okay, so they do April Fool's and now they're going to talk about another random book. That's like, oh man, y'all guys have been gone. You've been gone gown and geez it's like i did a chart i did a little bit of a chart peak and i'm like yeah if they would have actually had a good track record i'm pretty sure at this time they would be at horror land or even hall of horrors or something like that it's like they would have been long past over this to the point of where it's like oh well it looks like there's a new book in slappy world let's review it and it's like Instead of this whole crunch, kind of a crunch of where it's like you have so many books ahead of you to finish. And it's like, yeah, you didn't really even, it seems like you're going to go beyond the mysteries, beyond. And it's like, you might, they might do it. <sighs> well, with that said, how about I talk about a little bit of how I learned how to fly, what I remember. And then we'll continue on later with their ideas and then we'll see what happens any new details so how long has it been since i looked at it? like hold on hold on let me look for myself right quick i really hope i'm not going to disrupt let me just look right quick am i disrupting no okay let me look let me have a look for myself to see how long has it been since i did how i learned how to fly the minor coverage So yeah, so it's a sentence and also note, I'm not actually thinking about at this time to monetize any of the videos. So if they're monetized or they've been blocked, it's because, well, Jackie needed to have some more money, which indeed more money. I just don't like the fact that you want to put ads on videos. If any ad is on videos, note it's either YouTube or Jackie or someone else that I'm like, who are you? <laughs> Anyways, it turns out that for my coverage of how I learned how to fly, it was done in October. So six months, six months from doing this. Let Yeah, let's say this video, the audio track right now. Six months. Holy freak. Six months. <laughs> oh, boy. So if I remember correctly, it's just one kid and he was getting bullied by this other kid and there's this girl and he also has a dog <laughs> and apparently the guy let's see yeah the guy's kind of a bully and then he did some messed up crap and then he ran into a house and that house had a bunch of rats in it what the frick rat king Ms. your rat are you there and then all of a sudden there's the freaking spell well not really spell book it's just something that says flying lessons took it home there's some special powder in there it's like yeah how is that not old but considering it might be alchemy of course it's not old 
he had some, the dog had some, he's flying like a little bit, but thank goodness he's not actually going up. It's like, man, do you remember, I didn't even talk about the whole Mary Poppins thing. I love to laugh. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's like, if that was real, oh my gosh, you know how many times I'm going to be flying on the ceiling? I would be flying on the ceiling most likely every single day. Well, if I'm lucky, of course. If, you know, reality doesn't just hit me like a messed up anvil of all the messed up downer stuff that's going on. But more importantly, I would be on the roof <laughs> laughing on the roof. <laughs> like right now, I'll be floating a bit. Oh, good Lord. So, yeah, thank goodness the dog didn't go away. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the dog is gone. It's like, I, the, I poor our poor flight maneuver on my dog and now he's gone he's just flying up way up in the bill you think pete actually is like upset about my harry's adventure wait until they read the part of where the dog had some flying spell and he's flying up high now i'm pretty sure his name is jack if it's not then oops but yeah um the kid had some and then you learn how to fly and then that was freaking awesome. He hid it in the mattress. The bully or his rival decided to do it too. And it's like, yeah, I remember this one point of where he actually know how to draw. And it's like, yeah, look at me. I'm an artist. See, I'm better than you. And it's like, you got someone to pay. You paid someone to draw that, didn't you? And you're just waiting for him to do that moment to just have that out. And be like, well, bam. <laughs> it's like messed up. So the kid went on private property a place that wasn't his stole something that wasn't belong to him and then he's that then he actually put it back or something yeah i think he put it back and then a dad was a dummy and just threw it away the mattress he just threw it away what are you an idiot and then of course jack got some well the kid got some publicity and then his dad it's like the dad is a freaking um it's like, yeah, the kid's dad actually is someone who seeks talent and get, make him famous. Meanwhile, the boy, the rival's dad over here, we don't know what he does, but apparently he has enough money to be like, yeah, well, I, oh, talent agent. There you go. Well, he was able to actually got his son. So here's like the freaking mess up thing where it's like, hmm, there's some rivalry that's missing here. Let me just put this away. There you go. It's like there's some missed up rival missing rivalry. It's like the kids are rivals. The dad should be rivals too. And well, at least he's not because it's messed up where it's like, oh, the main carry the kid we should be rooting for gets car dealerships. <laughs> yes, he gets to do like now opening. Enjoy this new gas station. Meanwhile, the rival, I'm on TV. I have my own show. Dude, just just pack it up, dude. Pack it up, okay? Listen, listen. You're a, you might be a good dad, but damn, you suck as a talent agent. If the other one's able to freaking get his son a TV show and be on TV, you just need to pack it up, man. Apparently, you're not a good talent agent. Apparently, you suck. You suck, dude. You suck. So eventually, it got too point too much to the point of where the main character, of course, remember the girl, the girl he likes, and then of course the rival might like her too, and well, he's actually getting so much publicity that it's to the point of where he's like, I'm gonna fake it, I'm gonna fake losing my powers so I can actually enjoy myself and hang out with the my friend. <laughs> winkity wink wink and it's like okay and then the rival just straight up was like okay well whoever loses it's like whoever wins get to have lots of money yeah i think one million dollars wasn't right and lots of fame so he would do it of course he just went down it's like oh no my powers i'm going down and it's like yeah let me try to remember something it's like yeah oh yeah don't forget the rival is faster than him and it's like yeah it's because the dog ate some of the kids half of flying so it's like i'm shocked that the dog it's like yeah have we ever even noticed that the dog is still floating or something it's like yeah the dog needs to actually learn how to sit down <laughs> stop floating you do this but anyways yeah the rival won and then the kid is like oh no this is not fair i lose my powers oh no and the other kid the rival now goes to be on more tv maybe even movies and stuff 
away from Jack or this kid once and for all, and he gets to have the girl. It's a beautiful ending, and yet he can still fly. He just faked us all out, but he can still fly, and it's like, oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, but he can't never show that ever again. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a good little story being like, yeah, and then sooner or later is he has to do something and it's revealed that he can fly. It's like, man, don't let this be like the freaking man of steel crap where he can save his dad was like, no, don't do it. Don't just stay. Just stay. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, it's messed up. That's the suckiest freaking thing I ever heard. What the hell? But anyways, yeah, that's what I remember. Now, let's see what they have to say about it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something interesting. But it sucks that, of course, they went with the freaking April Fools after actually being like, oh, well, it looks like they finally returned. Damn, with like 10 more still to go. Like, geez, I would have preferred that if anything, you just bring the chicks, <laughs> bring those three chicks that are your equivalent back. I would prefer just having them, having them be like, okay, well, they're doing the freaking reviews. You cool. It's like, yeah, just let those three chicks take over. Frick it. Let those three free tricks take over until you come back. And then you can do it. It's like, at least you'll actually have the books done. It's like, geez. It's either that or the idea of being like, well, since the chicks are, it's like, since you guys are gone, might as well allow the chicks to do Slabby World. Fup it. Because I would like to see them again. It's like, it would be cool just to have them a moment. But of course, it's kind of like they're a little bit more unruly. And they're most likely still more extremely drunk. And it's like, if you're able to just curve that down a little bit, it could actually be watchable. <laughs> just saying. But yeah, it sucks that they are still at 52. While freaking Valbarine is at 60. At 60. Damn, you, you should just be a freaking shame of yourself. <laughs> but of course, you know, I guess it's not really a race. But considering the rate of where you both started very, very late and just went very, very slow. This would have been a good time to actually do make it a race. Be done with the original 62. Reach the freaking new decade, which too late now or like two freaking months in. <laughs> but reach the new decade or whatever. Well, technically, how about a new anniversary of Goosebumps with a new freaking thing to do? The 2000s books. But here we are still. Just damn, man. Just damn. OK, I'm not going to I don't know if I'm going to. It's like it's hard not to talk about it if they just show up now. I was scary. I was scary night.